Homer says it didn't work, it didn't close, and you show up and the damn thing's working. How do I fix something that's working? Mm -hmm. You can't really. But this holds a history of what happened to it. And mm -hmm. we've had a few things happen to this. So how do I find history on this? History is done, and your book tells you. I'm just, I'm getting in deep now, but I'm going to show you. It takes three fingers. Push and hold, stop. Wow. Push and hold, close. Push and hold, open. Screen goes ER, let off. That's the first code. The first code was 61. If I look in my book, it tells me there was a photo eye problem. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now, I use yeah. my... Open, close. Go up at the toggle. All right, all right. I use these to toggle. Close goes to code two. That goes back to code one. Okay, so code two, 99's normal operation. I had normal operation. Code three, there's nothing. We only had two codes show up. It'll go through 20 codes. So what if I saw 60, 70, 61, 60? Like I see it over and over and over. Guess what? Something with that damn photo eye is going on. They're either covering it or it's been interrupted Dirt. somehow. But mm -hmm. it tells me where to look, right? So, if, if I want to get out of this mode, I just hold my stop down. It'll say clear. And then I have to hit it one more time to go back to normal operation. So, with a meter right now, I'm set on DC. With it all plugged in, if you wanted to see what's going on, left hand side's battery, right hand side is the AC. We don't have any AC coming in, but it's back reading it at 24. That'll read usually 30 something volts. That tells me my electricity's good. I go over to the battery. I'm setting at 25 volts. That tells me my battery's okay. okay. I don't have to unplug anything or do nothing. I can. So I can, that right one's AC. That one's the AC. Now, it gets getting a back feed because of the battery. So, it would say 110, 150. No, no. It would say 37, 35. Oh, because it has a transformer in Because there. it's got a transformer. You, yeah, yeah, you go. Mm -hmm. And that would, that would... But it always reads about 30-something. Oh, okay. Now, if we did solar operator... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's another... Those we batteries look. are too small... We sell you the two bigger batteries. Oh, uh, okay, okay. More storage. They go, they fit in there? So, yes, sir. Oh, wow. They fit right in there. It takes three things to make this operator solar. The solar panel. It takes a different harness because it's going to wire right. to the solar panel, not mm -hmm. the transformer. And then the bigger batteries. Okay. That's you haven't what had makes problems it. with the solar? No. With residential? No. Maybe we should start as doing more solar. As long as everything is done right. Yeah. They don't overuse it. Solar will work a hundred. Every day use. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Usually you use like once or twice a day. I mean, because I can probably, if I do solar correctly, everything's right on this. I can go in and out this gate 15, 20 times a day. Oh wow! And not have a problem. And how long do Most those batteries for, last? Five depends. Years. We we Five all years. we always say after a year, you know, you could be looking at it, but you you should get two, three. Sometimes, sometimes I've seen these batteries go five, seven years. Are they lithium? Uh, no. That's just an acid seal. Just acid and seal. That's a okay. gel seal. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think lithium okay. would be too expensive. Um, that is, sounds like we should start doing some solar now. Yeah, we don't have solar would be a lot easier. We don't have to solar worry about that. Light. Solar, solar panel has to face south at a forty-five degree angle, not in shaded light. So we if I'm under shirt. a tree and but I got sunlight, that's not that's not direct okay. sunlight. It doesn't charge properly. You're gonna have charging problems. See, yes. Now, yes. I can move a solar panel up to a hundred feet away from my gate oh, okay. operator, oh. and still not have a problem because the, oh, okay, it's not okay. going to adding a hundred feet of wire is not oh, going to stop the output. So that's the. So I okay. could go down the driveway, I could go on top of the roof, I could put it anywhere I need to get that sunlight. And then oh, just okay. run that okay. wire. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Does the wind affect it though, if it moves it, or does it not move? Solar panel. It shouldn't move. You can drill it, 
weld it, but that bracket's strong enough. It, it 45, degree, 45, 45 degree, 45 degree, 45 so degree towards the, wood, toward the set. See, I mean, they're tough. We don't see hail problems or nothing. I'm sorry, I deserted you, brother. No, there's another guy waiting for you. Really? Yeah, He's being nice, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> All right, again, depower before I touch anything. Because if you don't, and you spark this battery, see those silver fuses right there? Yeah. They'll burn. They'll either burn in two or turn black. And if I see that, I know what happened. Yeah. We shorted the battery, brother. So, so we, since the house has power ready, the first thing is, uh, do you think recommend put it right here and then do the batteries and then either it one? I don't care. Either one and but then check plug. that when you do it. Check it when That's it all I'm up. saying. You can hook your power We're up first. When he does install. Yeah, yeah. You can hook your batteries up. Test it at the plug. You're happy. Plug it in. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Well. Now let's make sure we don't miss nothing at all here. All right. I'm gonna not even look. With re You'll have to rehook them up the way you want, but at least you got a reference to go by, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just cleaning up. Lesson done, right? You think? Or? 